Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving deep into the financial frenzy that's sweeping across India, the great Indian IPO boom. Let's break down the numbers and decode what's driving this surge. The big boom India is experiencing an IPO explosion. Over 184 companies, both big and small, have launched this year, and there's no sign of it slowing down. In fact, October alone witnessed 30 new companies entering the market, outpacing global giants like the US, China and Hong Kong. Emergence of a global leader The third quarter of 2023 was monumental, with India boasting a whopping 21 IPOs. The SME segment wasn't far behind, registering 48 IPOs. According to a report by EY, India has officially emerged as the global leader in the number of IPOs year-to-date in 2023. Why, oh why growth? Let's talk growth. In the first half of 2023 alone, 80 companies went public, a 33% year-on-year increase from the same period in 2022. The money game is strong too, with Q3 2023 seeing a staggering 376% increase in proceeds raised compared to Q3 2022. Mind-blowing numbers. What's driving the boom? So, what's the secret source behind this IPO bonanza? The big economy. First up, India is a powerhouse, the fifth largest economy globally, with a GDP of $3,730 billion. Goldman Sachs predicts it'll be the second largest economy by 2075, even surpassing the US by 30% by 2050. No wonder it's a hotspot for investors. Gaining investors' confidence. The Indian government is playing its cards right, boosting the manufacturing sector with schemes like production-linked incentives and enhancing logistics with more corridors and airports. These initiatives are making India an attractive destination for both domestic and foreign investments. Regulatory backlog. There's a regulatory backstory. In 2022, regulatory approvals took longer than usual, 115 days compared to 75 days in 2020 and 2021. IPOs that were gearing up for 2022 got pushed to 2023, creating a backlog that fueled the boom. General elections affect elections, the X factor. Historical data shows that markets tend to rise in the year before elections. However, there's a twist. Jeffries's Chris Wood warns of a potential 25% dip in the Indian stock market if the ruling party changes, similar to the Plungji in 2004. Will IPO frenzy continue? The burning question, will this IPO frenzy continue? According to Adarsh Ranka from EY Global, the momentum is expected to surge well into H2 2024. Mahavir Lunawat of Pantamath Capital Advisors adds that the IPO pipeline is bustling with promise. Conclusion. And that's a wrap on our exploration of the great Indian IPO boom. If you found this breakdown intriguing, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more financial insights, and share your thoughts in the comments below.